You might think that a few clicks on this website is the fastest way to calibrate your joystick drift, but what if I told you that this tiny circuit board from extremerate.com could actually give you the most accurate feel ever? In this video, I'm gonna be exploring the new Hall effects from extremerate.com and we're gonna answer the question whether doing it the hard way to calibrate your joysticks after you install them is actually worth it or not. Typically, when we install new joysticks, we take out the older ones, we desolder them, we install the fresh joysticks, and once we're done with the installation, we head over to this website and calibrate our joysticks in under two minutes. But what Extreme Rate did with their Hall Effect sticks is involve one additional step. Along with the joysticks, you also have to install this PCB board into your controller. So once you're done with the installation, you actually have to manually calibrate these joysticks by moving one stick at a time instead of using any special software tool. Extreme Rate has a detailed tutorial video that shows you how to install these joysticks, how to do the manual calibration, but when I read over the comments, people are actually pretty angry why you have to do it the hard way when you can do this calibration in under two minutes with this website. So here is why Extreme Rate's Hall Effect sticks could actually help you out in the long run. Inside the kit, you get these colorful Hall Effect joysticks. They actually come in two different variations. You get the 120 gauge factor joysticks, which have the similar resistance as the original PlayStation 5 controller. You also have the 80 gauge factor joysticks, which have lighter resistance. They let you play shooting games in a more precise level. So up to your needs, you can purchase the 120 or the 80. You get this calibration PCB board. This is going to be used to manually do the calibration once you're done with the installation. The desoldering and the installation of these joysticks are pretty straightforward. All I did was follow Extreme Rate's official YouTube video. You have to open up the controller, desolder the joysticks that you have, put in the fresh Hall effects, but you also have the PCB board that's soldered into those pins. So all you have to do is just carefully follow the official video by Extreme Rate and you're good to go. And then you have to follow the calibration steps that they show at the end of the video. It's a bit of a tedious process and it's pretty lengthy because you have to manually calibrate the range, the axes for both the sticks, but it's totally worth it and I'll tell you why. The DualShock GitHub website is convenient and fast, yes, but the calibration of these joysticks are actually done through software layers within the website, so you're not actually calibrating at the hardware level. Plus, you are trusting a third-party software at the end of the day. It's not official from Sony, so there poses a bit of a risk. It's not dangerous per se, but you're not gonna get that long-term stability and that high-level precision. Extreme Rates Calibration Board does not flash or modify the original motherboard at all. That means all the calibration data is stored within the chip of the calibration PCB board. So once you remove this PCB board, the Hall Effect joysticks would immediately return to its original factory default settings. No permanent changes will be made onto those joysticks. So just to sum up, Extreme Rate's newest Hall Effect kit will give you hardware level calibration accuracy that's gonna be with you permanently for the long run. You don't need to rely on any third-party software so you can switch between consoles and still this calibration will be permanent. The only drawback I can think of is Extreme Rate's Hall Effect sticks are a bit more expensive than the other Hall Effects in the market and you also have to do those manual calibration and that extra installation. But that being said, if you are a casual gamer who don't really care much about precision or you don't play too much of FPS games, for example, the website might just be enough for you. Let me know in the comments whether you think it's worth it to do Extreme Rate's manual calibration. You guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video.